Okay, everyone, so I'm gonna give you a quick tutorial on creating a recurring meeting in uh, Teams that I'm going to show you through Outlook. So some people like to do it through Teams. Teams and I are in a fight. So I like to go through Outlook because it feels safer. So um, what you're gonna do is really you, um, I know that some people use Outlook on their, um, the, the app that comes up, the old school Outlook app. Um, I have that, I just really don't use it. I use the 365 um, through Chrome. So type in outlook.office.com um, and it'll take me there. So personal preference, it's a little different though through your desktop. So if you're going through your computer's app, it's a little different the way you can do this. So if you're struggling with that, we will have to talk later. Okay, further ado, go to your calendar. It's a little button on the bottom. And then as you can see, I already have some Teams meetings, but I'll create a practice meeting, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up here to new event, top left corner. And I'm gonna type in Practice Teams meeting. Now, the way they showed us um, through some PD was to create a contact list and put it on there. Um, I'm finding that that is going to be a little bit more challenging for my students right now. They're not um, comfortable enough with Teams. <clears throat> so we'll put it for starting next tomorrow at let's say 1 p.m. okay so this is a meeting that I want to be every day starting tomorrow from 1 p.m. to 1 30 okay now down here this little these arrows it says repeat never I'm gonna click on that arrow I'm gonna say every day and a little pop-up is going to come and it's gonna say repeat one day I don't want Sundays, I don't want Saturdays, and it's gonna occur every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday until November 11th. Now you can change this date. So what I've done is, because we're not sure what's happening um, after September 4th, I have made all of mine end on the 4th. So I will have to go in and, and edit those links, um, but that's okay. It gives me you know, a, fin a, um, a final date to kind of think about. So I'm going to click the fourth. I'm going to hit save. Now I'm not done. Just because I hit save, it's not going to create a Teams meeting and that's what I need it to do. So down here where it says search for a room or location, Teams meeting, I'm going to click this black dot and it's going to turn blue. That means that I'm reserving a Teams room, okay? Um, you can set a reminder if you want to. I don't, um, mainly because I pretty much know this is what I'm gonna be doing, um, but you're welcome to, it's up to you. But you can change the time. So if you want it to be five minutes before, 30 minutes before, an hour, it's totally up to you. I'm gonna say never. And then I'm gonna hit save, okay? Now it says event created. And you see these little dots. If you have more than two meetings, like I obviously do um, on some days, I'm gonna click those dots. And then over here, it's gonna show me what I've got going on, okay? So I'm gonna go back into this practice teams meeting, hit, click edit, and I'm gonna go all events in the series. Now it still doesn't give me the link that I need, right? So I'm gonna hit more options, scroll down, and there is the link. So you really don't need this bottom part, but you can highlight this, copy, and paste it wherever you need to. And that's how you create a meeting in Outlook.